Early next week, we will be announcing our 2007 Conservation Innovation Grant Awards. Uh, and what we're doing this week is visiting a couple of places uh, where we uh, have award recipients uh, to uh, commend the award recipients, talk a little bit about the projects, and talk about the Conservation Innovation Grants Program. The Conservation Innovation Grants Program, or, or the SIG program, uh, is a creative part of the Environmental Quality Incentives Program uh, that was created by Congress in the 2002 Farm Bill. It provides competitive grants to state and local governments, tribes, non-governmental organizations, and individuals to promote the development and adoption of innovative conservation approaches and technologies. In other words, the adoption of the ideas, the realization of the ideas that are going to allow us to make the next step, uh, steps forward uh, in conservation and natural resources stewardship. Since we've begun administering this program and awarding SIG grants, applicants from 47 states have submitted 171 project proposals uh, and requested grants which have been awarded totaling $61.7 million. That will be added to with the round of grants uh, that we'll be announcing early next week. Among those will be a $212,000 grant to the Pennsylvania Environmental Council for a project that will involve the use of excess manures for mine reclamation and biofuel production. The project partnership will implement a commercial scale demonstration project using composted poultry manure uh, from largely equipped eligible poultry farms located in nutrient-impaired watersheds in the Susquehanna Basin. The manure will be applied on nutrient-deficient mine lands in surrounding counties, and the mine sites will be used for the cultivation of switchgrass and native grass peren grassland perennials for biomass energy production. So think about this. We're finding a way to use waste material to reclaim mine lands to generate renewable energy. Uh, and in the course of that, uh, monitoring nutrient and carbon sequestration flux fluxes over a three-year period to begin to develop some of the information that we'll need for a more robust carbon trading, uh, or nutrient trading, I'm sorry, program. So if you consider that a win-win-win-win proposition, um, that's pretty much what you've got in terms of meeting four different important environmental objectives. This particular SIG grant is an example of the kinds of projects that USDA hopes to expand in the next Farm Bill, which is being written by Congress this year as the 2002 Farm Bill's authorization expires at the end of September. In the proposal that we sent forward to Congress in late January, based upon our experience and satisfaction and the successes achieved by the SIG grant program, we proposed to increase conservation innovation grant funding from $20 million of mandatory funding per year to $100 million per year, a five-fold increase for the development of these kinds of projects, which as I said earlier, are projects that are leading us towards the solutions to the next environmental challenges that we face. Now, unfortunately, I have to tell you that so far the House uh, Appropriation Subcommittees have not seen fit uh, to uh, move forward with our proposed increase. Indeed, the House uh, Subcommittee bill, as it's currently before the House Agriculture Committee, doesn't propose any real increases in conservation spending over the 2002 bill as compared to our proposal to increase uh, spending for the conservation title by $7.8 billion uh, over the 10-year life of, of our Farm Bill proposal. So we've got our work cut out for us uh, in, the, in the discussions 
both the House and slightly later the Senate about what the next farm bill should look like. We want a farm bill that moves forward and not backward. We want a farm bill that provides real reforms to the commodity program and more equitable distribution of funding to a wider range of farmers that increases funding for conservation purposes, increases substantially funding for renewable energy production, and helps the beginning and new entries into agriculture. All of those ideas are what we think farm policy for the next decade should look like and what we send to Congress in January. So as this unfolds, keep paying close attention because the debate's upon us uh, and hopefully it will turn out well and right and with significant increases of funding for the kinds of projects that we're celebrating here today.